You're watching OnFire-TV.com, featuring news, interviews, and entertainment. Broadcasting from Radio On Fire Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, here's your host, Diamond K. Welcome back, welcome back. You man, Diamond K, in here, of course, the Diamond K Show, on Fire-TV.com, RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, here on the show, we deliver the biggest trending news stories of the day with interviews and original reporting from across the country. Show is fun. Show is upbeat. But I also have to expose what I feel is really happening in this country. New episodes drop daily, 6 p.m. Uh, but I don't want you to miss any of our live broadcasts in addition to our 6 p.m. show. We have uh, other content throughout the day on fire-tv.com. Radioonfire.com is uh, how you can see everything and support this movement. So, uh, you know, I have some strong thoughts about this. I have some strong thoughts about this. Of course, we know Dwayne Wade, the former basketball player, uh, and his child, who... In 2020, came out as transgender, okay, Uh, but he has been issued a legal name and a legal gender change. Uh, The birth certificate is going to reflect the name change, uh, and now uh, officially Zaya, and, uh, or Zaya, and... Um, the other thing that uh, this part is 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 uh, is disturbing for me. Uh, this young man now wants to be, you know, a, a young lady. The birth certificate has been changed, right? I have a problem with that. How how is that something that we can do? I, I mean, you know, can can any can someone that's been living in Asia change their yeah, they're they're now Asian. I mean, or or not? You know, it's just what? Where is the line? Where is the line? I understand he wants to be called a girl. I understand that he wants to live his life as a woman. But when we change the birth certificate, this is only going to continue. It's only going to continue. I don't think that the birth certificate is should be something that sh- you know should be able to be changed. It's not like I don't know. It's just a very fine line. A lot of uh, a lot of things to unpack here. And uh, I definitely understand that this has been a long court battle. Uh, the mother wants one thing, and she does not agree with this. And uh, Dwayne Wade, who has full custody, uh, is, is uh, you know, I guess he's in control of what happens. Former pro basketball player. Originally filed a petition in L.A. County Court for the 15-year-old who he has sole custody of. Now, his ex-wife objected, arguing that the custody agreement between Wade and herself granted her the ability to still be involved in decisions like this. This, I mean, this is uh, not something I'm sure when they divorced that they thought they would have to have spelled out. Uh, but here we are. So she she wanted to be involved in decisions like this as she should. Now, under normal conditions, if this was let's flip this around. If this was the, if the mother wanted this, uh, and I I just the whole thing is just I it, it is very very fuzzy. But some things are clear. So she had objections. She claimed that she had a meeting with Wade. And uh, he told her that he intended to make their child very famous due to the name and gender issue and also informed her that there would be endorsements, contracts associated uh, therewith. And all of that is true. All of that is true. Uh, His daughter has become famous. And I think that this is only going to continue. Uh, Now. Some people are, are saying a lot of different things about Dwayne Wade and, and, and Gabrielle Union and uh, a lot of hateful things. I don't want to focus on any of that. What I want to talk about is a 15-year-old. Most of us have been 15 before, right? Most of you watching, you've been 15 before. 
just think about some wild and crazy things that you wanted to do at 15 that you just felt super strongly about. Imagine if you were saddled with those decisions in adulthood. A lot of times, 15-year-olds commit crimes that affect them for the rest of their lives. These are bad things. So a 15-year-old, I just don't think has the experience has fully grown and developed into who they are as a person. Now, of course, you want to support your child. You want to support your kid. But at the same time, where's the line? They want to have sweets all day, cakes, cookies, pies. Let them have that too, right? They they really feel strongly about it. No, you're not going to let them do that. You're not going to let them do that. Now, puberty is a rough thing. You remember how it was when you had a pimple? When you were a kid, you had a pimple. You didn't want to go to school because you had the pimple. You're in the mirror. You're looking at it. But, you know, your parents made you go to school, at least back in the day. Now they might let you stay home. But you had this pimple. You get to school, and then you realize, you know, nobody worry about your pimple. They worry about their own pimples, right? But when you're a child, when you're a teenager, you don't know these things. You don't know these things. And... I hear a lot of times they talk about suicide and suicide in the in the transgender community. And I understand that. Now, you have people who, for whatever reason, feel the need to do different things. I've had kids that I went to high school with that committed suicide. They weren't part of the transgender community. They felt that what they were dealing with was too much. We don't talk about that. It's just... But, but if it's connected, if the person's transgender, then automatically it's because society did not let them live their life. Why is it that if you disagree with something that happens in the transgender community, if it's exposing uh, or, or, or spotlighting different gender changes, name changes to minors... That, that we got to get labeled transphobic or, or, or homophobic. Why, why do, do we not have the ability to disagree with something and have dialogue about it without the labels? I, I thought that we didn't want to judge people. Right? But, but, but you, you can't have it both ways, people. You can't have it both ways. How is it possible for this 15-year-old to change not only the name, but the gender. So now this young man still has male body parts, but because the birth certificate now says female, I guess he can go into ladies room. I know what you're thinking. He, why are you saying he, he wants to be called a, she, this, this is a boy, right? This is a boy. We're doing, we're, we're doing this hand holding and, and, and pacification over pacification. That's part of what is wrong in society. I understand you can live your life how you want to live, but we got to call a thing a thing. We got to call a thing a thing. If we cannot clearly define men and women, I mean, there's no definitions on anything. We could just, we could just change everything. I live in a house, but I don't, I don't think it's a house. I, I feel like it's really an apartment. I mean, no, we can't do that. That would be ridiculous, right? I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of, I just have a lot of feelings about this. And, and a lot of people online I see saying, why are you worried about it? You don't have any kids. Why are you worried about it? I'm worried about it because I have nieces. I have nephews. I have, my friends have kids. Like a lot of, of uh, young kids are seeing this. And, and so they're going to see, you know, uh, Dwayne Wade's child changing the name, changing the gender. And because they're uh, maybe going through uh, different things uh, and, uh, you know, puberty, the such, which is all, you know, already a confusing time. And maybe I say, maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe they, they feel like they're a loner and they, and they don't feel connected. And maybe they think, Maybe this is what it is. And maybe it is. But maybe it isn't. Right? We don't expose children to everything that we expose adults to. And we try to shelter and shield them. We try to do that. At least I thought that's what we're supposed to be doing. But when it comes to this matter, 
We don't do that. We want to lay out everything. We want to lay out everything. Uh, I definitely have a problem with that. Now, I may be in the minority, but I think I'm in the majority on, on this topic. I think I'm in the majority on this. So Dwayne Wade's ex-wave tried to stop it. Did not happen. Her her woman card did not work in this matter. Dwayne Wade's child has been granted this legal name change and the transition. I have no problem with the name change. I have no problem with being called whatever you want to be called. I do have a problem with the gender change on the birth certificate. This child does not have a womb. This child is not a woman. You can say, you feel like a woman, right? Was that Rita Franklin? You feel like a natural woman, but you are not a natural woman. But you can feel like whatever you want to feel like. But when we start changing a legal document, is, is the document worth the paper that it's printed on if you could just change it because you feel like it? It's like that. I was born in Baltimore in St. Agnes Hospital, but, but I feel like I was born in L.A. Change my birth certificate. No, you ain't going to do that. I was born where I was born. I was born who I was born. Now, you can call me something else. But, you know, of course... It's easy for me to sit here at Radio and Fire Studios and I can say this. It's not my child. And I understand that as the parent, it's a lot of pressure. But there's pressure to go to the high school dance. What have they punished? I asked my parents once when I was in high school. I wanted to go to this lounge called the Fox's Den. I've been doing radio for a long time. But when I was in high school, I used to call into the radio station and do impersonations on uh, on the radio station. Kristen Hitman Thomas here in Baltimore used to let me on his show. I'm in high school. I don't think he knew I was in high school. I was in high school, and I would call him to his show and do impersonations during his his uh, his evening show. And one day he said, "You know what? We, you know we we do the live broadcast from this Fox's Den. We host a party over there. Why don't you come down?" You know, you plus one, I leave your name at the door, you know, you come down. Now, this is on Pennsylvania Avenue, if you're in Baltimore, it's on Pennsylvania Avenue, this is, you know what I mean? I'm a kid, right? I I, I was 15, told my father, hey, dad, I need you to take me to Fox's Den, and it's a school night. I need you to take me to Fox's Den, because Chris and Hitman Thomas on WEB says that, you know, I can come down there. And, uh, you know, I'm on the guest list. Dad, can you take me down there? My father looked at me like, man, if you don't get out of my face, you ain't going to no, you ain't going to no Foxes, dude. You ain't going to no club on Pennsylvania Avenue on a school night. They got liquor in there and all that. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to go. Of course, my parents didn't let me go. Right? Your parents are supposed to guide you. Every whim that you have, every thought, every desire that you have, you're not supposed to be able to do until you're old enough to actually do it. That's what I thought. That's part of the the parental journey. That's part of what being a parent is all about, right? You're balancing. You're supposed to be balancing between the child's wants, desires, needs, and you want to support. You do want to support, but it, it, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Uh, but here we are. Uh, there are a lot of support for uh, uh, this transition. A lot of people not supporting it. Uh, I'm all for supporting your child. I am not in agreement of changing your gender on a birth certificate. Is this because he got a lot of money? Can, can the average Joe Blow get their birth certificate changed? It's unfortunate that throughout this child's public transition, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife has claimed that he is somehow trying to profit from his daughter's journey. Is he pushing it along more than he should be? Right, you can support, 
But how many times have your parents told you you can do what you want when you move out my house? You can do what you want when you turn 18. Well, I mean, when I was 15, I wanted to have girls in the house staying the night over and all that. My parents wasn't having that. Wait, wait, mom, you're not supporting me. I'm trying to be a pimp. Support me, mom and dad. Oh, if you don't support me, uh, I'm going to hurt myself. I mean, come on now. They ain't let me have girls over there like that, and they should not have. They should not have, and I'm glad that they didn't, even though I wanted to at the time, have them let me have girls all throughout the house when I was a kid. That's something that I really, really wanted to do. Right? But now, every little whim that that these children have who Zay don't even have no driver's license but she knows that she wants to change her gender are you kidding me there's nothing wrong with living your life how you want to live your life but this she's 15 15 so the mother's consent was not required for the court filings and this has you know gone on this has gone on the mother has attempted to fight her child's identity change and it has been a back and forth fight if i was her i would be fighting it as well i would want my child to be an adult before they make this decision they have uh, two children and this marriage lasted from 2002 to uh, 2010 and uh, Zaya, I'm sure she's happy with uh, the way things are going. And I'm sure as, as, as the mother uh, projected, there are going to be endorsements. They're going to, there, there is a lot of support. And I think that because the community, the transgender community is, is uh, persecuted a lot. Every time someone, you know, picks up that flag, they automatically uh, rally behind that person. And sometimes people feel alone and want to be part of a tribe, want to be part of a crew, want to be part of a team. Uh, and, and I think that sometimes you can look back. People have joined gangs or, or, or been involved in criminal activity because they didn't have a father, because they they felt supported and then later on as they get older say eh, you know i don't want to do that or that wasn't a good idea or, or, or various things you can make decisions younger and become older and and realize that maybe you made that decision for the wrong reason maybe it wasn't what you thought at all right can, can you be wrong about something yeah you can now uh, we, we definitely need to, to make this clear. This is not a sex change. Fortunately, she cannot get a sex change until uh, she he until the child becomes an adult. Until the child becomes an adult. Um, and uh, so this, what has happened is the child was granted a name and a gender change. Name has been changed to a, a girl's name and now this boy on his birth certificate it it uh, fraudulently says that he's a girl even though he still has male body parts it's a very very interesting time that we live in very very interesting time that we live in let's do this a quick break and when we come back we're going to go to the comment section and look at what some of you have to say about this. Now, we're speaking about this as a society. We can talk about it. They're public figures. And many of their actions affect our family members. So that is why we can speak on it for those of you saying it's not your business. Why are you worried about it? Much more to come. Stay tuned. You listen to the Diamond K Show on Fire-TV.com. Visit OnFireTV.com for live top stories, breaking news, and original shows. Looking for food that feeds your soul? 
Hoodfellas Bistro and Catering is your local African-American-owned restaurant offering American cuisine. Located across from the courthouse, we offer daily jury specials to reward civic duty. Enjoy our full-service restaurant and fully stocked bar. Dine in, pick up, delivery, and catering. Our themed happy hours feature live music, handcrafted drinks, and weekly specials. Book your private event at HoodfellowsBistroCatering.com. On Fire TV is a streaming network for a generation on the move. You're watching OnFire-TV.com featuring news, interviews, and entertainment. Broadcasting from Radio on Fire Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, here's your host, Diamond K. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your man, Diamond K in here. Of course, the Diamond K Show on Fire-TV.com, Radio on Fire.com. And we're talking about Dwayne Wade's child legally changing her name after this court battle. Judge also ruled in favor of an official gender change from male to female, even though this young man still has his male body parts. So we wanted to, I wanted to go into the uh, comments on this. We posted this on our Instagram at the diamond K show. And you know, there've been some interesting comments on it. And um, I I really just wanted us to uh, check out some of these comments, folks having their opinions and uh, this one says, this is mental illness. As a parent, I would not have let this happen to my child. But these are the mind games that they play. Show them it and make it glam so they want to participate. Parents need to step up. Talk to your kids openly about sex, about emotions, about attraction, and let them know because you find someone attractive doesn't mean you're gay. Parents need to go into these rooms with the, the kids when uh, other adults are around, i.e. doctor visits. Talk to your kids when they come home from school. Ask them questions you are afraid of. They need you. Let's stop emasculating our young men. Uh, in the nick of time, shout out to In the Nick of Time says that his death certificate will say male. And as long as he has a male body part, he is a male. Somebody else says that they are sick of this. Mankind headed straight for disaster at this rate uh, extinction. Somebody says that they can convince you that you are in the wrong uh, body. Anything could be implemented. Somebody else said it's sad. Somebody else says congratulations, dude. Someone else says that he is still a little boy. What happens when he wants to be a boy again? I guess they'll just change it again. This is really sad, painful, and messed up, somebody says. Jazz B says, I hate this for him. Somebody else says, I bet the judge did uh, live your truth, but 
damn man this is getting out of hand um you know and 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 folks of course are entitled to uh, it, it justify to feel how they want you know feel how they want but of course many people are going to be you know she can do what she want he can do what he want you know uh and you know that's not the only post we did about this of course this happened uh, we got news of this over the weekend uh, but I also posted on our Instagram uh, at the Diamond K Show. Let's see what else we got here. All right. Uh, this says that this is why I feel this is an agenda rather than just making people more comfortable with people that are different. We need our parents' permission to get a tattoo and no earlier than 16. We have to be 18 to buy or rent property. You used to have to be 18 to buy tobacco, but they pushed that to 21 with alcohol products. You have to be 18 to be in the military and 21 to drive a semi cross country. So why is it that you can change your whole sex? I guess he means gender at 15. You can't even think properly. Haven't finished growing what you are born to grow yet before you can make a decision to just change your whole anatomy. So, uh, who is it? So, blind with the lyrics, uh, this he did not get a sex change. What what happened is this is a name change and this is a gender change. So, on the birth certificate, uh, it has been changed. But rest assured, when he's old enough to get uh, the surgery, they are going to definitely do some surgery. Um, so, let's look at. A few more comments. Uh, Platinum Diva just uh, has some surprise emojis. Uh, Pam Curtis official says that he's been living through his child. Oh, uh, we, and we've been hearing that a lot. A lot of people accusing uh, Dwayne Wade of, um, you know, uh, living uh, vicariously through his uh, son. So uh, congratulations, sweet girl. Somebody says, somebody says shaking their head. Uh, 410 Main, shout out to Jermaine, says, How though, man with man body parts, but judge changes gender to female. Somebody else just says they don't know. Somebody says 15 year old. Hmm. Someone says sad. Uh, and uh, Angela Cake says, Wait, so she legally identified as female with male body parts? Uh, and that's that's one of the points that I've been. Uh, uh, just you know, trying to make and focus on. Let's understand that this child still has male body parts, but the birth certificate has changed. What is the significance of that, and, and why wasn't uh, that part done later when the child was an adult? And that's because they, uh, they, the parents think that it is quote unquote supporting the child to get this done. So. He can go into the female bathrooms. He can do things that females want. And here's here's why it presents a bigger problem. It presents a bigger problem because everybody not going to be able to get this done for their child. So then uh, uh, our transgender kids going to be saying, you're not supporting me. You didn't do what Dwayne Wade did for Zaya. Uh, I'm going to hurt myself. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's real real fuzzy it is getting really fuzzy uh here not cool uh somebody said that d wade is on a down low uh, allegedly we don't know that somebody says congratulations uh uh liddell brown is in support of this christopher webb said good for her if that's what she wants i don't know why everybody got such strong opinions on a child that ain't theirs and a life they ain't living now, here's why I say that folks have a problem and, and why folks are so vocal about it. Because like I said, this is a public family. Dwayne Wade is a former NBA player, a, a championship player. People are looking at this and they're using this as this is going to be a reference point. Other kids that are going through things that think that they feel like this child feels are going to point to this and say, I want to do that too. So that's why we're talking about it, even though this is not our family. 
Christopher Webb. That's what I'm saying. And uh, Linnea says that you don't give a child everything they want. When you change your gender, you're saying God got it wrong. Somebody else says that Lord help us. Prophecy coming to pass. It won't be long, y'all. Oh, I'm 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 scared of that. I don't even know what that is. Uh, somebody else says that maybe instead of calling a person an it, using the noun person or child or pronoun, they would be a better choice of word. Everyone deserves respect and value to their lives. Sunday says, but it's a him. No amount of discussion, no amount of going back and forth, no amount of disagreement. It's still a him. If his remains was found and a DNA test was performed and is going to come back as an unidentified male slash boy, you can't even you you can never draft me on the mental uh, side. Sorry, you cannot take me back and forth me to see it forced me to see that uh and i know um so definitely a lot of strong opinions about this a lot of people feeling that this is part of an agenda a lot of people feeling that they should be able to do what they want uh and they and uh you know i feel that there are consequences for everything consequences for everything For every action, there is a reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at The Diamond K Show. Of course, on fire-tv.com, radio on fire.com. You can always stream more episodes of The Diamond K Show uh, at on fire-tv.com slash Diamond K. Music submissions. You want to get your songs to me to be added to the Radio on Fire playlist, to be added to my mix show you can do that music submissions booking or business info dj diamond k at gmail.com dj diamond k at gmail.com so uh, i'll be back here tomorrow of course 6 p.m uh at the diamond k show on all social media and if you want to uh check me out on line on digital platforms diamond k got a lot of music out there a lot of my mixes and a lot of original music you can do that uh so i'll be back here tomorrow and, I, and i'm sure that folks are gonna have stuff to say about this uh but uh, you know i just i i feel strongly uh about it but I, at the same time i respect people's opinions uh but the facts are the facts 